Maggots! I heard about your board game night from the commie! Let me join in the game! Well, we do need a six player. Fine, soldier, come in. We're about to start playing Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Do you know how to play? Demo, I am an American. I am a direct descendant of George Washington. And I've got the largest cock here. That doesn't answer the question. Son, I've got several army medals in my room. Just that... answer the goddamn question, soldier. Spy, what are you doing here? I heard you were playing Betrayal. I enjoy this game's innovation, so I wanted to try it. You sound like a total geek. Call me a geek again and I'll poison your buck. Anyway, I'll give you a recap. Betrayal at the House on the Hill is a cooperative horror board game where you explore a haunted house, exploring its halls and finding dark omens. You move as many spaces as your current speed allows. Your stats, speed, power, sanity, and knowledge can all change for better and or worse. When you land on a room that has a crow spy or a cow skull on it, you have to stop there and draw one of the corresponding cards. Cow skulls are items, spirals are events, and crows are almonds. The almonds are dangerous. Every time an almond is drawn, you have to roll six dice, and if you roll less than the number of almonds, the hunt begins. When the hunt begins, characters can die if any one of their stats reaches zero. The hunt is a unique event when one of 50 different scenarios can happen. Anything from summoning an elder god, to a giant snake wrapping itself around the entire house, there are a lot of different scenarios that can play out. It depends on which omen was drawn and in what room when the hunt began. And that's how you play Betrayal. Let's get cracking, team! Alright, I'm going first, and it'll carry on clockwise. I'm going to go here. I arrive in the graveyard. Oh, spooky! And because there is a spiral there, I have to draw an event! A spider the size of a fist lands on your shoulder and crawls into your hair! But you don't even have any hair on your head! Just go along with it, spy. I can either use my sanity or speed to get rid of it. But since I have more sanity, which means more dice that I can roll, I use that! Oh crap, I have to roll the dice now, and whatever number it is, I have to take physical damage. That's either my might or speed, by the way. And that's my first turn over and done with. Okay, I'm going to go up the staircase and explore the upper floor of the house. I'm inside the storeroom, and I get an item. Sweet! I got some bell. I get a point in sanity and I can use it after the hunt starts. Alright, my turn and I'll take a left here. It's the mystic elevator. This can be very useful. Once per turn, I can roll the dice and go to any other floor. I'm gonna do it and see where I end up. Oh, I guess I'm staying on this floor. I'm over here now. Okay. I'm going to go to the upper floor as well, but I'm going another direction from Scout. The research laboratory, ha! I wonder how long it'll be until one of us gets into the basement. Now, I've got to do an event. Let's have a look-see. Bloody vision! The walls of this room are damp with blood. The blood drips from the ceiling down the walls all over the furniture, and onto your shoes. In a blink, it is gone. I need to attempt a sanity roll, and if I roll two or three, I lose one sanity. Great! I rolled a five, and I get one sanity! Okay, let's see. I'll go to the right. I got a room with an omen inside. Let's see what it is first, before we start panicking. It's a holy symbol, which gives me to sanity. That is helpful. Now I need to roll six dice, and if I roll a zero, the haunt starts. My turn, maggot. I'm gonna go left. The conservatory. It better be an American conservatory. There is an old mirror in this room. Your frightened reflection moves on its own. You realize it is you from another time. Your reflection writes on the mirror. This will help. 
Then I hand you an item through the mirror. Draw an item card. Hell yeah, thanks, fellow American soldier. I see. This will be useful for killing communist zombies or Soviet werewolves. Sure, lad, sure. Before I can leave the graveyard, I have to roll the dice, and if I don't roll a sanity roll of four, I lose one knowledge. Okay, great. I'll keep going. Do you need someone to give you some water for your throat? But I can't go any further than that because my speed is three. Leave it to me, glasses. I'm gonna pass you and go to the room facing west. It's a collapsed room where I've got a roll five or more with my speed stat. If I don't, I'll fall into the freaking basement. Thankfully, I've got a speed of six. And Medic has six sanity, but still failed his roll. Phew, just barely. Now I'm gonna go through here. Just some random hallway. Got an event. Mystic slide. The floor falls from under you. If I get a might roll of five or more, I can control the slide and end up in any explored room on any floor. Got a might of three. This might not end well. Ah, crap! Let's find out what room you're going to in that basement. It's the chapel room. Oh, ah! And now I have to take one die of physical damage. Oh, I took no damage! Bullshit! It's my turn and now I'm going to use a mystic elevator again. Yes, I'm going to the basement to join up with Scout. I'll go this way. It's a room covered in junk, and there's an omen there. The second omen is a ring. If I fight someone that has any amount of sanity, I can fight with sanity instead of might. I can't roll a one or less, otherwise I'm stuck. No harm. My turn now, and I'm gonna go that way. The servant's quarters where there's another omen. A crystal ball. After the hunt is revealed, I can make a knowledge roll to search the item or event deck for a certain card. I can then put the one I search for at the top of the deck. But now I've got to roll six dice, and if I roll two or less, the hunt will start. No hunt yet. Fuck you, spy. I'm going to go before you do. Spy, where did you go? I think he said he was going to take a cigarette break. Well, fuck him. I'm going to go here. A chapel. And I get an event. What a great day. You turn to see a man in groundskeeper clothing. He raises his shovel and charges inches from your face. He disappears, leaving muddy footprints and nothing more. Now you have to make a knowledge roll, so very good luck with that. Thanks, Doc. I think so, at least. Damn it, now the groundskeeper came back and rolls might four. What does that mean? You have to roll your might, and if you roll might four as well, you take no damage. I take one damage, so because it's physical, that means either my speed or might, right? Right. You ended your turn in the chapel, so you get one sanity. Great. What are you doing, our impression of a doll? Soon, I will get my one might point back. I'll go here. The bedroom, and there's an event. If you don't have any item cards, this event affects the next explorer until you're left with an item card. That's it, Scout. Okay, let me see. There is an old mirror in this room. Your fright reflection moves on its own. You realize it is you from another time. You need to help your reflection, so you write on the mirror. This will help. You then hand an item through the mirror. Choose one of your item cards and put it on the item stack. Then shuffle the stack and gain one knowledge. So long, Belle. I'm already getting flashbacks to Muffin Time. But at least I get one knowledge, and that was Medic's event, so I get to go again. I'm gonna go that way. Holy crap, a freaking vault. There's two items inside there, and an event for me to solve. 
Secret passage. A section of the wall slides away. Behind it, a moldy tunnel awaits. Put a secret passage token in this room. Then I have to roll the dice, and I can put the other secret passage token wherever, depending on what I roll. That's a four, which means I can place it anywhere I want on the upper floor. That'll do. Finally, I'm gonna try to open the vault for dice to roll six or higher. Let's do this! <laughs> I'm going this way. At crossroads, there's no event omen or item, so I can keep going. The wine cellar, this seems more like Spy's favorite place. It's gloves. When you are in the same room as another explorer, you can discard this item to take an item that explorer is carrying. That can be very useful. I'm going to go over here and maybe find some scrumpy. The gallery with another omen. I don't like the sound of that. The mask, a somber mask to hide your intentions. Once during your turn, you can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. When I put on the mask, I lose to sanity but gain to knowledge. If I take it off, I lose the knowledge boost, but I gain my sanity back. Now you have to do the haunt roll. Come on, demo. Can't roll three or less, otherwise the haunt starts. Phew, no haunt. Now that I've returned, I will now move this way. And I will end my turn, seeing as I can't go any further. Allow me to do exactly what you did, but in a more American way. I'll continue down here. The game room? A uh, kind of ironic. Silence. Underground, everything goes silent. Even the sound of breathing is gone. Each explorer in the basement must attempt a sanity roll, so that Scat and Snipe are making the roll. All right, let's see how I do. Three, good, but not good enough. I gotta roll one die and whatever number I roll will be the number of mental damage I take. One point of mental damage and I'll take the damage to my knowledge. All right, let's see if I can do it. I've got five dice after all. Oh crap. Let's just see how much damage I'm going to take. One. Okay, I'll just take the damage on Norwich. This time, I'm breaking that vault open. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Damn it, Angie, get out of here! And stop laughing in my ear! I'm going to go here! The stairs that lead to the ground floor, yes! Goodbye, random S basement! And hell of somewhat normal ground floor! I guess I'll go here since I can go one more space! I'll go back to the crossroads and explore this way! The operating laboratory, with an event! Disquieting sounds, a baby's cry lost and abandoned, a scream, the crack of breaking glass. Then, silence. Roll six dice. If you roll equal to or more than the number of omens, you get one sanity. If not, take one die of mental damage. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what we've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! All together now! Woohoo! the everlasting fuck up! Your tongue, demo man! Alright, jeez! The gymnasium with another fucking omen! Oh, come on! That's three omens now that I got! I got the dog! Okay, I can't be upset at that. I can! Fuck you, Demo! From what I can tell, the dog can bring me items from other rooms. And a point in might and sanity! But it can't fight anybody? Oh well, that's still pretty cool. Anyways, if I somehow don't start the hunt, I'll be surprised! Wow! I am, in fact, surprised!
I'll go this way. I doubt I run into any omens after Demo Man collected them all. I swear that that happened because of magic. Oh, hello, soldier. Hey, Marasmus. Welcome to the Medicine Man Cinematic Universe. That's not a thing. I'm in a bloody room right now. There's an item. Go away, wizard. Well, that was fun. Off I go. Now fall. I, 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 I got a bottle of liquid and I can drink from it and different things can happen. It can change my stats. Well, while you drink your pansy-ass juice, I'm going through that collapse room. You got a rule of five or more to not fall through. Nailed it. It's the world's most un-American crossroads. I'm going over there. The chart room with another omen. The book, a diary or lab notes, ancient script or modern ravings. Gain of knowledge now and lose to knowledge if you lose the book. Now I need to make a hot roll. Oh shit, soldier! Oh, no. I should have soldier, seen this coming. Soldier, what have you done? Everybody leave. I need to read about the hunt. It's all right here. The ritual that will bring about the hideous reign of an American god who will rule the planet for a thousand years. I must take this book to the chapel or pentagram chamber and make knowledge rolls. They need to be five or more to succeed. If I succeed in five knowledge rolls, I summon the American Elder God. It will kill me when it arrives, but it will be worth it to ensure that America reigns supreme at the hands of the American Elder God. <laughs> All right, everybody. It says here that the book soldier god has made him go crazy. And that he's trying to summon an elder god. The only way to win besides killing him is destroying that book. We can only destroy it by throwing it into the furnace or the chasm. That way, we destroy the elder god forever. But we don't know where the furnace or chasm is. Knowing this game, it could be anywhere in this house. Well, I guess we'll have to find it then. But our first goal should be getting that book away from soldier. Ironic that the American obsessed lunatic has gone crazy. Let's get this over with, comrades. It's finally time for America to have a real leader at the helm. With the American Elder God at the steering wheel, we will prosper yet again. Wait, you think that the Elder God is American? It isn't. It isn't going to lead America to a new golden age. It's going to wipe out all of humanity's soldier. I don't believe you for a second, Big Root. This American Elder God will give way to a new era. An era where the rest of the world realizes just how powerful a patriotic presidency really is. You're insane, soldier. I go again because that's what the hunt says. And I'm almost at the chapel. Go pray for mercy somewhere else. Scout, you've got to stop him. You're in his way. As for me, I'm going to help you stop him by blocking him off. Medic, you have lost your mind. One whack with this book and you're dead. Maybe, but if it means the others will survive, then I'll do it. Shit, Doc. Take care of yourself. I'm going right for him. I'd like to see you try and take this book off of me. Ah, five out of six. Beat that, middlehead. All right then, challenge accepted. Yes, it's a tie. That means that nothing happens. My turn now and I'm going into the mystic elevator again. Oh, the floor, which means I can go any floor. You can't go to the floor I'm on. There isn't anywhere the elevator can go. In that case, I'll go here and cross the collapsed room. Ah, more. Yes, then I'll go here and end my turn, since I can't go any more spaces. Yet turn them, oh man. Okay, I'll use the crystal ball. I'm gonna use it to search for an item I know is in the game. The bone stick! Go for it! Four more and I can put it on the top of the deck. Oh crap! Well, that's not so bad. I'll just go where Sniper is. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Time to drink from the bottle. My intelligence and sanity increase exponentially. I'll join Medic to block Soldier off. It doesn't matter how many people get in my way. I'll summon the Elder God one way or another. It's now my turn, and I'll be fighting Scout with my blood dagger. I'll lose one speed, but it's worth it to get three more dice to my attack. 
That means he has seven dice to attack Scarpweed! Oh god! You're going down, city boy! How is he going to survive all of that physical damage? The answer is simple. He isn't. Five. Hmm. I should be able to beat that. Crap, I guess I gotta take one damage. Now I am here. I have to roll five or more as a knowledge roll. Yes, the beginning of the end has begun. At the beginning. I'm going straight for the book. Bitch, please. Your old wrinkly ass can't beat me. Um, only to strength. Damn snake eyes. I'll save the blood dagger for later. Okay, I'll kick your ass again when my turn comes around. I'm gonna go after Soldier and kick his ass. Every roll in this game, you fucked up. Shut up! I'm gonna beat your ass! That sucks. Aha! Two damage. This isn't good, Scout. I know that! I'm gonna go to Soldier and use a certain item. Don't tell me! Yep. I'm using the pickpocket's gloves to take the book off of you. Now, my knowledge! I don't need it to complete the ritual, but I can't let you run away and destroy the book! Guys, I have an idea. The chasm offer in this room must be in the basement. Now that Sniper has the book, let's all go down there and search for it. Good idea, Demo. No, bad idea. Very bad idea. I will follow you to the basement. The Lauder. There's an item here. This also gives me one strength. The idol. If I give up one sanity, I can add three dice to any roll I make, including combat. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Sniper! I won't even use the dagger! Five. Four of bucks! In the rules, it says if I deal two or more damage, I can take an item from you instead of hurting you! You've been warned, Sniper! I'm going to help search for the furnace or chasm. I can't fight, soldier. About time you realize that you can't beat me, Doc. I'm gonna kick your ass, soldier. The way sniper can get himself out of here. Bring it on. Oh no, this ain't good. No shit, Sherlock. Six. Try beating that. He can't. Oh no. I'm. I'm dead, guys. He was one of the fastest of us. He could have helped us find the chasm better than any one of us. And now we need to find it ourselves. Just goes to say you can't run forever, city boy. I can. I'm going to the basement. Rare. I've got to make a might roll to leave, and if I don't, I'll lose one speed. Okay, that's over. Another omen. That's fine. A spear! Sure, why not? I'm going further down this way. The crypts. How ironic. Something slimy. What's around your ankle? A bug, a tentacle, a death hand clawing. I need to make a speed roll. I want that fucking book back, sniper. You have to take it from my cold dead ends. That's the plan. You can't run forever, you kangaroo fucker! Shut up! I got a six. I get one speed. And now you can talk. Thank you! Just as well, it's my turn now. Sniper, that book is mine. You hear me? Mine! And just to make sure that I get it back, I'll use the dagger. Beat that! Oh, bollocks! The book is mine. I know I can't fight you, soldier, but I can find that blasted furnace room or chasm. Yes, I found it! No, he found it! Another omen. This one is the madman. It helps me with my stats, so I guess that's good. Soldier, I'm gonna kick your ass. Good luck with that. Not. What the fuck? No! No, 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 no! Yes! No. The book's mine again! My turn! I'm going this way! You found the chasm! We found both areas we can dispose of that book! 
And if I can roll high enough, I can keep going! Oh, well, never mind! Now that we've found both areas and we have the book, it's time to drink the van. What the fuck? I lose three points in all of my stats. <laughs> that tails it, soldier. I'm gonna kick your ass. Go ahead, Mr. Roller Zero. Um, well, damn. your ass, Sniper, for the last time. Not today, soldier. On the plus side, he can't use the dagger anymore. He can't use any more speed. No, this is getting really repetitive. It doesn't matter because the book is mine once a fucking game. <laughs> I'm heading back here since it's the furthest away from the Kazimar furnace. You mean furthest right? Just goes to show medicine man can't spell. I'll go here because I can't fight, soldier. Damn right. Oh crap! It's the Pentagram Chamber. That's the only other room soldier can perform the ritual in. Yeah. But thankfully, the furnace is right next to it. Bye. So soldier could lose the book and then lose the game if he went there. Son of a bitch! I was hoping it would be somewhere else in the house. There's another omen here too. A girl that I saved. She gives me one sanity and knowledge. Sorry, forget the book. I'm just gonna kill you instead. Blow it out your ass. I'm gonna use the ring so I can attack with sanity instead of strength. Shit. Who's the stupid one now, sniper? I've got maximum sanity. I ah, fuck me. What the shit? What were the odds of that happening? I'm going to get out of this stupid fucking basement. We need to get an edge over soldier. The vault should have some good shit in there. I need to roll a six or more to open it and get two items. Oh, shh. Soldier, shut up! Shut up! I think he's finally lost it, mate. That book's driven him crazy. That vault has to have something I can stuff into his fat mouth! This is really pissing me off now! It's a gamble, but I'm going to use the ring to fight him again! Now, Sniper, don't! He's almost dead! It's time I put these omens to good use! Soldier mate, you're going down! The spear gives me two additional dice to attack you! Merry God. No, not this time, laddie! You aren't sure they'll ever fully recover from what you've seen here tonight. There are some things that humans were not meant to know and surely this is one of them. Maybe you can convince yourself that it was all a dream. It's all finally fucking over! You saved my life back there, Demo. Thank you. That was actually enjoyable. We should do this again sometime. Thank you for that, Monday. No problem, mate. Alright, soldier, you can get up off the floor now. Soldier! Soldier! Oh, okay.
on April 1st, Medicine Land presents The April Storm. Expect all sorts of videos, including a video that don't even involve 15.AI. Several videos across the 1st of April. This time, the seasonal event will happen and no one can stop the foolishness. The April Storm, coming on April Fool's Day.